Hello guys and I uh, hope you're well. So today rather than a workout I want to share with you some tips on uh, nutrition to help you stay healthy and stay on track. I'm sure that during these isolation period you find yourself opening the door fridge quite a lot. Uh, maybe even to the point that you having you getting a tan from the fridge light. <laughs> um, but anyway jokes apart being at home all day and a lack of routine um, and boredom is also a big cause of overeating. Um, so how do we control it? How do we change this? Um, so I came up with some ideas that have been helping me. So I personally find that having a um, structured routine helps maintain a good balanced lifestyle, not just mentally but also for the nutrition side of it. So, for instance, I am to, I aim to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner at set times every time every day, uh, unless I don't feel hungry. But that doesn't happen very often to me. You know, I love food and I love cooking. Uh, but I try to have a set time for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. So that's part of my of my routine. I also make sure that I drink loads of water through the day. Uh, it keeps my mind clear and uh, stay away from headache, headaches and uh, it also keeps my anger at bay. Um, so if you, for instance, get bored of water um, very easily or you don't really like the taste of it, uh, you can try making some more interesting drinks by adding stuff like lemons, uh, cucumber, mint, strawberries, um, or you can also drink some like um, herbal teas or uh, um, you know that's something that it keeps you hydrated um, even you know about coffees I always make sure that I have a big glass of water before drinking coffee you know that saying that rehydrate before caffeinate um, so that also massively to help me feeling fuller and staying away from snacking and having big portion of food um, but yeah, so apart of all the rehydration, we obviously need food to fuel our body and our brain. Um, so what I try to do is aiming to have a good balance meals um, each time. So I have a good amount of protein, carbohydrates and fat. And I also aim for good quality food, so unprocessed food, food full of vitamins, uh, nutrients and... Um, good stuff that will nourish my body as well as keep me full for longer so another tip I can give you is to eat quite slowly uh, and without distraction like the television or your phone so you're more aware of what you eat and chew your food properly um, that also helps you keep you feeling satisfied and it probably helps you not overeating or staying away from snacks because uh, yes that's another thing a great deal of extra extra calories that we consume it usually comes from from snacks and uh, you know that tempty, tempting food that doesn't really fit you up um, and especially when you're bored that's the stuff that you tend to go for um, so what I personally try to do is not having too many snacks around the house uh, so avoid buying them all together or uh, I try and make my own snacks, so um, something that I I know what's inside, something that hasn't got processed food, um, processed ingredients in it, or a snack on fruit, vegetables, and uh, I make my own smoothies. So that's another good way to fill you up on something that is rich on um, vitamins and nutrients. Um, some protein if you want to add some protein powder into it or uh, you know there's so many so many recipes so many ideas out there that can help you stay on track with um, snacks as well um, so yes what else I can really say is these are this is what has been helping me through the years not just now on isolation um, so it's having a structured routine uh, with food, prepare it in advance so you don't just come up when you're hungry, you just sort of grab the first thing that comes handy. It's always good to have food prepared in advance that you can either stock in the fridge or in the freezer. Uh, 
so yes, routine. Uh, staying hydrate in whatever way it works for you. As I said, water, herbal drinks, uh, make your own uh, infused water. Uh, and then really, really important is eating nutrients dense food. So it's good food that fills you up, that it's enriching your body with the supplements and the vitamins that we need. It, it helps our immune system, it helps us stay healthy and uh, staying away from the snacks that keep the calories up during the day. Um, and uh, try and cook from scratch if you can, especially now that you have the time. And uh, um, maybe if you don't know how to do it, it's a new skill to learn and uh, it definitely helps because you know what goes inside your meals. Um, yeah, so th these are my suggestions. And uh, if you do have some other ideas that have been working for, for you, please feel free to share them. And uh, any comments or any questions that you have, please write them below. Cool. Well, guys, that's all me for today. And I hope it helps. And uh, stay healthy and keep up the good work.